Joining us now is uh, a man who uh, for 28 years served as a military chaplain. It's, he's retired Colonel Ron Cruz, now Executive Director of the Chaplain Alliance for Religious Liberty. And uh, Colonel, thank you for joining us, sir. Thank you for having me, Steve. Well, it's my pleasure. I, I can't tell you how outraged I am, but unfortunately this is just another in a long line of, uh, of occurrences that have occurred uh, under this uh, Obama administration with regard to classification of uh, who's a terrorist and who's a danger and who we should watch out for, and it's either gun owners or patriots or Christians or, uh, you know, but, but, but don't, don't call Fort Hood a, a terrorist attack. It's just sickening. How did you come to uh, discover this, uh, this uh, training brief uh, with this outrageous characterization of Catholicism and, Christi and evangelical Christianity? Well, a very brave soldier who identifies himself as an evangelical Christian had to sit and listen to this presentation, and he complained to the presenter that he didn't like being classified as an extremist. And um, the person presenting the briefing just simply said, well, I'm sorry you're offended. And then he complained to the command and asked that an apology be made and correct information presented. Nothing happened. And so he finally decided he needed to do something, and he contacted us and sent the information to us. And we were just astonished. Uh, we had heard about similar briefings taking place on some other installations, but this was the first um, concrete evidence when uh, he was able to get a copy of those briefing slides and uh, send them to us. Now, uh, you guys uh, uh, did uh, confront uh, or inform the Army Chief of uh, Chaplain's Office about this, and um, they said that what that this was an isolated incident and and it wouldn't happen again. Is that and that it was a closed case? Is that the deal? That was what we were told. Um, however, uh, since that communication, we've discovered that uh, this briefing didn't happen just one time. But the person who presented this material um, gave this briefing several times at several. Uh, units that are a part of this uh, this command group that, that this uh, soldier's a part of. Uh, further, we have now discovered, um, not, not quite as egregious, but almost so, uh, similar information popping up at other installations where the use of the Southern Poverty Law Center list of hate groups... I was going to go, I was, a, yeah. Yeah, is being part of training of... of uh, classifying where commanders are telling subcommanders to watch out for people who associate with and receive mailings from the Family Research Council, famous organizations yep. like Family Research <laughs> Council, American <laughs> Family Association, Traditional Value, you know, and we find this to be just despicable and, and are encouraging the military to, to take a look at what's going on, that the Southern Poverty Law Center is a political entity with an agenda. The military is not to be that. Absolutely. So absolutely. We were, yeah, go ahead, Colonel. Well, I was just saying that we want the military to provide good training for our military personnel, not biased training that, that just engenders uh, suspicion and concern. And... We've got honorable men and women serving, people who come from Baptist churches and Lutheran churches, Methodist, Catholic churches, Jewish faith, um, and they should not be labeled as extremists by our military. It is, it, it, it is just so hard to, to, to be able to imagine that this is actually happening in this country, in our military. We're talking right now to uh, uh, Colonel Ron Cruz, retired uh, chaplain for 28 years in the military, and he's now executive director of the Chaplain Alliance for Religious Liberty here on the Steve Malzberg Show. Um, and again, as I said, this, this seems to be coming the norm. And, and I don't know who... Who writes these? Who's in charge of putting these out? Who, you know, if we trace this back, whose hands would be in the cookie jar on this? Do you have any idea? Well, there is a training command for the equal opportunity people, and uh, we've been doing some investigating and discovering that uh, that that 
the training center that provides materials for the Equal Opportunity folks uh, have been relying very heavily. It's on their website that they rely very heavily on the Southern Poverty Law Center lists and and uh, from their websites. And uh, this is very concerning to us. So we're asking the military to take a look at that and on several fronts. One, that they should not be using that list carte blanche. Two, if they're going to talk about religious groups, they need to get the chaplains involved, and the chaplains should be the ones. They're the subject matter experts on religion for the military. They should be ones who should be brought into this discussion. And, and in this particular case with this reserve unit, there's no indication at all that the person who prepared this briefing ever consulted with her unit chaplain who was right there uh, near her in an office that she could have asked, hey, what about this slide? Do you think this is accurate information? Yeah, no, th- th- this is just outrageous. I'm, I'm so thankful that you brought it to our attention. And, um, you know, keep us informed. Uh, uh, anything else you find out, please don't hesitate to call us. And how could people very quickly uh, get to your website and help you guys along? Well, thank you. Our website is uh, chaplainalliance.org, and we'd love to have people come and uh, help support us to do what we're doing to stand up for the religious liberties of our men and women in uniform. Absolutely. Colonel Ron Cruz, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. All right, folks, uh, please do, do what he said, because this is just an outrage of the first degree. When we come back, Jerome Corsi, he's got a brand new book, Bad Samaritans. We'll tell you who the bad Samaritans are in his view when the Steve Malsberg Show continues.